figured it was a time for a backyard pineapple farming update. Um, as you can see, this is by the uh, backyard fence line that uh, we got a another pineapple growing there, a flower. Kind of a surprise to me. I someone asked me um, about the timing of them, how they come in, and um, I, I think it's just because the back row was planted first, and then this row, and then this front row is kind of the timeline as to when they're going to produce. So, this is an update of the back. Um, it shows you how fast weeds grow. we got several we're watching back here. Um, well, I see one that we missed. <laughs> I, this has just become humorous because I just can't get them fast enough. And I have been distracted, but, uh, so there's, there's another one that's been got. Um, wouldn't be humorous to you home pineapple growers that are, that that was like your last one you were waiting to get golden yellow. This one's getting golden. This one's just tiny, and I think it's because it was on a smaller plant. It may be a younger, um, younger one. That's a fun size. Um, but, uh, you know what? Those are packed with sweetness, so, um, don't be discouraged if your pineapples are small. So, here's another one. See, I've, I've just staked it up, and I'm thinking, uh... It's going to get picked today. I just will not uh, risk risk that. There's some back here in the back fence line. So this is like row two here. And these I expect will produce um, probably next summer. Okay. I had kind of a little surprise. See, someone got this is the remnants of this. You know what? Uh, I think when they're done with the pineapples, I'm kind of afraid they'll go after the chickens if it's not squirrels, if it's an opossum. That one needs to get staked up. I just can't keep up. Ugh. Somebody came by the other day and they're like, I'm just like, I'm just consumed with having to keep up with it. But I'm not, I'm not complaining. Thank God for these pineapples. The critters love them too. So there's that. Um, that's why I was so afraid, uh, that once they're done having their sweet tooth, they're going to want some meat. And I just just pray for our chickens that they they don't get predators don't get them. So I come back here and um, I threw a couple of these larger plants. I just I seriously I just threw them back here. These are some from around the pool deck. I just threw that back there. It's not even been planted. It's just thrown out there. And see, I threw this one and it's just the roots laying here. I came back here this morning and looky what I was careless. I threw this and it has a huge flower on it. I didn't see it in there. Small. This was, this was probably at least a week ago that I pulled this one out. And I threw them back here against the fence line, and it's got a pineapple growing, and, and it wasn't that big. I would have noticed it. So it's been laying here sideways like this, and, um, and yeah, growing. So I did a little hole in the ground with some postal diggers, and uh, made a hole. And I'm going to plunk this in the ground. It's back here by the fence line where the critters come through. Well, they can have a, a winter treat. So I found this when I was digging the hole for the pineapple. Looky chicks, I got you a treat. Look, blind birds. <laughs> really? You don't want that worm? Well, I guess somebody needs to go fishing. She's right by it and she doesn't even see it. 
You want a worm? <laughs> Not interested. Okay, so now here's a different um, new flower that, as I was pulling up, I did notice this one, and I took the chance. I went ahead and pulled it up, and I planted it here, and then I took some, this is a pineapple top I planted in a pot. I just got some sand and um, um, like mulch type of medium um, put around it. This is a slip from one of the um, huge plants by the pool. So I planted that one in a pot and this is also a slip I've planted in a pot and those should do very well. These are the um, huge pineapple plants I've pulled up from the pool and now I feel like I need to go and check the plants <laughs> for flowers I, I, I thought I had been, um, I just did this Saturday, um, thought I had been careful in checking to make sure they did not have fruit on them but these plants are huge I'm thinking of transplanting them they have slips on them they have suckers on them um, those are going to produce more and uh, apparently you don't have to have them in the ground for the flower to come up <laughs> here's how things are going with the um, bagged fruit they're still getting um, heat or sun in order to yellow. They're getting their nutrients from their stem there. This one's just really turning pretty. So this has been successful so far in keeping out the critters. Um, the big one that I pulled off of this plant, I think, um, or one that was here and I pulled up the whole plant, uh, ripened up beautifully. Um, it made it through. I had another one in a bag over here on this plant and here here we have another um, flower that I caught before going crazy and pulling them all up. So we had one over here that I had put in a bag um, and I went to tilt it or uh, fix it and and it went ahead and broke off. It was pretty pretty yellow just a little uh, green on the top so um, that's the status of this patch and here's another patch we have and I put some of that um, mulch in it and um, the chickens have been coming over and scratching it which is a good thing the chickens need to be uh, um, they help they help turn over the soil and get the bugs out and only thing is, they make a mess, <laughs> but it's okay too. And then the um, then it gets on the pool deck. I tried to put a little barrier up there, but it it was cardboard, so it got rained on. This one's kind of I don't know, kind of going bad. It seems like. Um, Maybe because it had, I had to prop it up, it had gotten too much sun. And then there's this uh, patch over here that I um, weeded and uh, trimmed it up, replanted some plants over here. I recently showed off this patch. These are the ones I planted from the pool deck. No flowers in there. Ooh, yes there is. See, look. Okay, so these were replants. Did not know it had a flower in it, and it's getting a flower. These will, these are facing east. I don't know, I don't know if I ever said that somebody was growing pineapples and they 
they knew that the pineapple was going to come out this way. Some people think the pineapples grow un underneath into the dirt, but they do grow out of here. Um, and they looked down and it was a, a frog, but they thought they were getting a plant. So they were so excited. They took pictures of it and everything. And So this is the pant over by the studio. Real quick, do a little peek see inside. These have been here. These are not transplants. Well, nothing happened. These are tall plants. Pokey. Okay, so I know I have several over here. Um, I propped it up. It still leans. Whatever. <laughs> Just want to do kind of a, a quick show off of this one. Um, I was going to prop one up here, and it's. Uh, I'll show it to you. And I went to prop it up, and when I went to move it, it broke right off. Looks like this one broke off of here. Um, it was propped. It broke off. It's very green. Kind of frustrating. I said a bad word when I did it. Looks like, yeah, this one broke off too. I'm going to leave that one alone. Something might good come up of that. Um, I'm going to pick this one today because it's just too tempting and I'll put it on my back porch and let it ripen. Uh, you see it's got a slip on it. It's also got, uh, this is a slip and this is a sucker. So I'm going to pull the sucker ouch, off and um, leave the slip and let it, that'll produce a pineapple. I'm going to tempt fate with this. I think I'm going to bag this one. Um, still check. I'm picking this one, and um, it's already got another plant coming off it on the side. I'm gonna leave this one, and I'm gonna pick this one, and it's got a slip, a sucker. Um. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull off the sucker. And then this one. These are getting pretty large. They've been there a while. This is the one that I was trying to prop up and it broke off and I just left it here on my, my little bench. And um, I'll see what happens with it. I um, think I'm gonna join it with this other green one. And that's it I want to show you one more thing and um, this will be a kind of a lengthy video when I put it all together I put some um, plants out here by the road last week before the after the plant no before the trucks came for the uh, yard waste pickup and a lot of people um, a lot of people took them home. There weren't, um, there were maybe maybe five plants left. Every time I put tops out here, I put them in a container like this and I just loaded them up. There's probably ten tops or slips in there or whatever. Every time I did that, they would take the whole container. I had a box and they take the whole container of it. So they were gone and I'm glad for it. So if you guys are watching and you know where my address you can um, come by and snag some of these these are ready these have slips on them they have they're ready to plant they're ready to make pineapple and you might even get a pineapple surprise you might even find one that's uh, got a flower in it that I didn't know about and here's some of the harvest um, I had a couple in the refrigerator and we ran out of some to eat and um, then the girls were like, I cut some and the girls were like, mom cut some pineapple and they went in there and they scarfed it up. But you can do backyard pineapple farming so happy pineapple farming to y'all. <laughs>